Hello there. I have a data table open called Movies. And this data table is available in the sample data that's part of Jump. I'm going to use this table to illustrate how we can launch an external website to perform a search based on information contained within the table. I've seen other mechanisms for actually connecting websites to data tables and they've normally involved adding an additional column that contains the URL. What I wanted to illustrate here is how we can just use um, information within the table to pass a search criteria to an external website. The data itself contains information on movies, um, we've got information on revenue, we have information on the director. For convenience I've done a couple of things, I've just put labels on the movie and the director so that when I come to a graph uh, we can easily just sort of hover over and see the name of the movie and the director. I've attached to this table a script that I've called here launch web search and that's what I'm going to illustrate in this video. For convenience I've also mapped that script onto a button on a toolbar. So let's just see how this works. I have a graph showing domestic revenue versus worldwide revenue. So we have one data point over here which is far higher than all the others um, and I can come down and you can see it's Titanic produced by Cameron uh, and I get the same information if I just hover there. But what now if I click this, uh, this script to actually launch the external website? It takes me to the imdb.com movie database and it takes me straight to the Titanic uh, information. So the idea, this is just illustrating based on the sample data, but if you've got any uh, industry specific uh, data and external databases that are searchable, you can actually build a script using the same principles here. Let me take a different movie just to illustrate. So this is Star Wars and launch again. So it takes me to the Star Wars movie. Let's see whether, um, well here we have two Star Wars movies, so let me select both of those. So now I've got these two selected. So what's it going to do? Well I could do one of two things. I could either launch uh, searches for both of the films, but the script has some intelligence and say, well actually you've selected multiple films. Um, instead of going to the film information, I'll take you to the director information, so it takes me uh, to the director. The reason for doing that is you may actually select a large number of rows. Imagine a situation where I have, let's say I have a tree map or something, and I just put all the, uh, let me just think about this, I want to put in sizes by the director, um, director's a category, so we're looking at worldwide revenue is the size, uh, and we categorize by director. So now we can see, for example, if I select Spielberg, I've selected all of the rows, all of the movies, 12 movies for Spielberg. If I launch the website each time, you're in a danger of having hundreds of windows potentially opening up accidentally. So this just takes you to the one, Steven Spielberg. If I were to launch, uh, select a whole bunch of rows that obviously correspond to different directors, then what it does is to provide a dialogue. So now I can just come into this dialogue and let's pick the Silence of the Lambs and the Sting. Click OK. And it launches two separate windows, the Sting and the silence of the lambs. You notice also on that dialogue it gave me the option uh, do I want to use an external browser which I've been using up till now uh, but this is also illustrating that Jump can actually render HTML pages within its own uh, browser which is part of the, the Jump application it's just another window within Jump. Okay so that completes the demonstration um, in terms of the actual code structure itself, then if I were to just choose edit, we can take a quick look at this. 
Uh, now the beauty of video is I can actually just show you this very quickly and you can just use the pause let me just uh, resize this window so I'm not going to talk through it all but I'll just scroll through and I'll let you take a look at this in your leisure and I'll also make it available for download if you want through my website so that's the uh, the code okay that's it bye for now